as we saw in, er, within earlier sets, taking it over Vivi, who's been hot, and taking it over John, who gets a power up at Zeno. Very, very well played and absolutely deserving. But can you keep on going? Can you keep the fire lit? Or are you going to air dodge into side B? You are not, excellently. And Ooh. see what I mean? Yeah. See, see what a I mean, y'all? <laughs> It's like he wanted it, and I respect that. But <laughs> that's you can't be throwing stocks against defensive-minded and just well-experienced players like Dill because at this point, the hard part's already done for Dill. She has a lead. Now she just needs to put the chokehold onto Gatsby. Yeah, just continue that ship game, just throwing out the, the gyros and the lasers, keeping Gatsby uncomfortable in the corner. <coughs> And really now the onus is on Gatsby to find his way in and really just start that explosiveness back up as we do see a, a knee coming out. Unfortunately, the wrong way, meaning Dill's going to be living a little bit longer. I don't know about that up smash. Uh, he was trying to read a roll, yeah. I suppose. And when you're already down a stock and almost two with that up air um, uh, not quite closing up the stock thanks to Town and City, Ooh, yeah, you're uh, done. Yeah. Okay, so now you're down two stocks, so you're going to have to start throwing out some Hail Marys, and you're going to have to start chasing a little bit. Thankfully, Town and City, after the transition, has a lot of beneficial platforms, but Dill with an unsafe landing getting caught by a big Falcon back air. Gyro in hand. Never mind. Dill's Not, going <laughs> Almost got a conversion of her own. He's like, all right, thank you for my toy back. Can you please uh, get off my stage? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and once again, using these gyros to catch the landings as well as Gatsby getting too comfy on that ledge. I oh, like. okay. Platform conversions. Yeah, I like the IDG upper mixed Ooh. in there. Again, going for some of these Hail Marys. Unable to close out the stock quite yet, though, as still with that up angled forward smash for the anti air. The laser is the follow up, forcing the air dodge and not closing it out quite yet. Gatsby grabbed the gyro out of that? Yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah, uh, you know, that's it's, it's just a Falcon there. game, right? Yeah. You know, it's like, all right, I went for it. If I hit that, I'm feeling the flow. Yeah. If I miss that, go next. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very, like, what if character. Like, yo, if I hit that, that would have been sick. Yeah. And it's, you're almost playing into the exact opposite type of character where Rob has just an answer for pretty much every situation in the game barring like a a, a luigi style combo breaker yeah which good <laughs> <laughs> imagine imagine Please if like please no what if gyro was frame one invincible i wouldn't what, play this we, game <laughs> if gyro came out like duck hunt can <laughs> All right, I'm going to put down my drink <laughs> <laughs> as we pivot over to Kalos here. A common counter pick for uh, Falcons and Gatsby alike. I think he was looking for an up tilt there on the platform and still willing to go deep, never sacrificing the, the momentum, never sacrificing the speed at which you play because you can turn it into Woo! so much. What a reset by Gatsby. And now Gatsby gets to have his foot on the gas. He's gassed. He's gassed speed now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, I get to hold that one. Just <laughs> in case. I get to hold this L. If she keeps getting caught off stage so in such precarious positions like she has been throughout this entire game, stuck on platforms, stuck below platforms, constantly a victim to Gatsby holding forward and stuffing her out. And another reset on the platform once again. These Kalos platforms just doing wonders for Gatsby. Already lapping Dill in percent. Potentially going to be looking for another kill soon. But instead, it gets once again a little bit too lost in the sauce. Gets an up smash for his troubles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, never mind, Gatsby. You're good. You're good. Knock, knock. Open up the door. It's me. <laughs> I'm so looking for another one. Looking for a reprise with that second knee off stage. Wouldn't even have closed out the stock quite yet. Side B going right through that gyro. The armor coming in clutch. Boom, boom, boom. It's like, please don't neutral. Get up into this. <laughs> oh, the jab mix-ups in order to uh, get Jill out of tumble before she had a chance to press the button. Super clean stuff. And just uh, once Gatsby is able to find that hit, everything turns on for him. 
It's finding the hit that can sometimes be dangerous, but the jump call out from Dill keeps this game well within spitting distance. 55% is just what you expect to take as a big body. Yeah, and suddenly it's just in a completely even game, and this is Gatsby's game to lose for sure. Gets another potential reset on the platform right there, try charging up with, um, an, ups, or an F smash, but Dill fighting her way through now has Gatsby in the corner. Yeah, doing a great job of catching so many of these neutral get-ups. Got to be careful with some of these jumps out of the corner if you're Gatsby. Oh, the up B out of shield not quite reaching and not quite able to get out there in time. Nares to stuff these jumps over and over. The stomp was risky, but Dill didn't have gyro. Dill, though, now in a percent lead, but does it matter? Oh, able to catch gyro, throw that up, create the barrier. Force Dill without it. Another, Another up smash! Gatsby's Cal up smashes on specifically Kalos have plot armor. All right, so we're going to watch this while I take a long sip of my drink. <laughs> and we just get to see the percentages are fine. Yeah. But we just get to see the scoop of this up smash. Scoop. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Devin. <laughs> I had, I had to. I'm <laughs> oh. um, you know that scoop wasn't even that egregious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but still, it is. It's almost this callous effect, where and why uh, Falcon players also don't mind. Play, uh, stages like Town and City because you get a similar type of vibe with some of the platform layouts, but it's the platform positioning as we go back to Town and City. The platform positioning is just perfect for offense, but you don't sacrifice range to move. Mm -hmm. And Falcon is a character, despite some initial dash quirks, he's a character that loves to run. He wants to burst onto you with a uh, with amazing speed and then get out of that range just as quickly to find key whiff punishes and to uncork a lot of his offense. Ooh. All right, now Dill back to the ledge once again, fighting away through with the neutral errors and now dealing with an FD style platform layout. <coughs> FD style, no style. No. <laughs> Zero platform layout. And the stage with no drip and the Gatsby <laughs> with no stop. That's rough. <laughs> I, I, it's such a. It's such a tough position as Falcon because most of the time recovering low, snapping to ledge, like that's really ideal. But characters that have such key quick drop zone aerials, like Rob in down air, forward air, or rather forward air and arm rotor most prominently, creates such a hassle. Gets the turnaround knee though, find the stomp, get the classic combo, the one. Yep, and mm -hmm. also getting the gyro as well. Gatsby bringing us to even stocks, but these percentages are looking rough. Tries to chase Dill, getting a little bit too tunnel vision, stubs his toe on the gyro. Oh, going for the, again, Ooh. getting an IDJ Nair with it off of the, um, off of the side special from Gatsby, getting some good damage on, still sharking with so many of these up airs, really taking the aggressive approach when it comes to counterplaying Rob in midair. It's like stuff them out before they're allowed to land with neutral air. And Great a good, delay. Yes, changing up the timing. Love to see that from players. Always trying to mix it up for us. And is Gatsby surely showing off just about everything, but at 179 was unable to survive that forward air. Ooh, all right, going for it. I do appreciate it, but does get grabbed for his troubles. Only getting 22% of punishment for it. Now, Gatsby able to get the down air into back air, not finding it quite yet. Now, Dill oh, the just... Force. This forcing the super low recovery from Dill, but also Dill just... Was she out of gas? I wasn't quite I don't think sure she was happened. out of gas. She just was too wary of Gatsby and didn't respect the bottom blast zone. Oh, spike that 20! Getting a reset, but the trigger, but he just missed, didn't get the spike, and was unable to continue the uh, the electric offense from that offstage scenario. But you still have all the space. You have a Rob without Gyro. Oh, and you have some decent DI in order to survive that, but you gotta find a way back to stage. Another double oh, no. jump that was covered by Dill. Right, great shielding by Gatsby, almost getting Kalos himself, but these projectiles just be chipping, and 
it, it was just kind of checkmate at that point. Absolutely forced, because we get to see it. Uh, we get to see just when Force Armor lost that double jump. It was uh, it was right there, in fact. A little bit early. Forced off in the back air. Reset. Had to go high. And this is... This is an Achilles heel that we saw in game one as I reset this. Like, burning that double jump, which uh, we're gonna... Falcon, you jumped too fast. There it is. <laughs> Force 10 frames. That right there. That's everything to Falcon. That's mm -hmm. everything to any character that's like a good combo weight or has a sus recovery or anything like that. Like, if you are susceptible off stage, your double jump is everything. And Gatsby frequently would say, it would almost flip the paradigm on you on the utilization of uh, of double jump, where it's like, hey, I'm gonna use it early. I'm gonna come at you. I'm gonna constantly be pressing everything fast, pressing everything early, and you have to adjust to that timing. And in game three, Dill absolutely did because mm -hmm. she never left the ground early. She was always waiting for the double jump. She was always waiting for Gatsby to jump out of the corner, jump from off stage with a button, with an aggressive maneuver, and she would dash back and punish, or she would anti-air, or she would air-to-air, and it's like, okay, commit, and I will be there to punish you.